Hello. In today's live lab, we will be doing a demonstration on how to build a starter shopping application using Oracle Apex. So in this workshop, we're going to create a shopping cart application that allows us to manage products, customers, and stores. So the application will have a variety of different administrators who will manage these products, customers, and stores, as well as have access to the dashboard to identify the top products. There will also be customers who are able to review, add, delete, or edit the number of products in the shopping orders. They will also be able to submit orders. Now, when we log into Oracle Cloud Console, this is our home page. Now, to get started, we're going to need to create an Apex instance and an autonomous transaction process processing instance. So, to go to that, we're going to go click the hamburger menu and scroll down to Developer Services and then Apex Application Development. Now to review, what is Apex? Oracle Apex is a low-code application platform for Oracle databases. So the Apex application, the autonomous data warehouse, and autonomous transaction processing are fully managed services that are pre-integrated and pre-configured within Apex for rapidly building and deploying modern data-driven applications in Oracle Cloud. So business users, citizens, and application developers can create enterprise apps 20 times faster and 100 times less code without having to learn complex web technologies and just using a browser. So myself, I don't have a ton of technological background, but I found that this live lab was very straightforward and easy to do. Now to create an Apex service, we're gonna click create above, choose your compartment, enter a display name, a database name, click always free, and then enter a password. We're gonna choose secure access from everywhere for our network access because we will be accessing our application from the internet, and then a contact email, and then down below, we click Create Apex Service. For the sake of time, I will already have done that. So while that is provisioning, we're gonna go into Oracle Database, back in the hamburger menu, Create Autonomous Database. So again, we have our compartment, display name, database name. For this live lab, I chose Shop Demo. For the workload type, we're gonna do the transaction processing because it's billed for high concurrency and short running queries and transactions. Shared infrastructure, always free, we would click. And then our password again, for licenses, we can choose license included, unless our organization has their own, but for this live lab, we click this. And then our contact email, and then you create the autonomous database, which is our transaction one. So while these are both provisioning, which they already have, we come go back into our Apex instances and we see the two here. We have our transaction processing and our Apex. So if we wanna go into the Apex, we can tell that it was it's going to be provisioning if it's a yellowish orange color and it will say that below. Now we see that it's green and says available so we know it's ready to launch. Um, we can also see all of the items that we clicked down below. So now we're gonna launch Apex. So this is the Apex sign-in page. We're going to type in our username and password that we remembered, and then click sign in. Now, this is the home page that we will be taken to. We have our Apex home, which can be our universal button to click to get back to this main site. We have our app builder, which all four of these functions can also be pressed right here. Um, depending on where you are within the Oracle Apex. So under either App Builder, we can either create, import, or export. Today, we're going to be creating. However, for the sake of time, I do have one already created. Under SQL Workshop, we have our Object Browser, SQL Commands, SQL Scripts, Utilities, and RESTful Services. So this is for people that have a little bit more coding experience. You can copy and paste or write their own to develop web applications. Under team development, we have templates, utilities. We will be using utilities in this lab. Um, this is very good for use. If you have multiple administrators, you can see what people are working on. It's a very collaborative environment and very easy to see what other people are doing. And then under gallery, we can upload sample apps, starter apps, custom apps. If we were not doing a live lab, this would be a great spot to get started with to kind of understand where you can get started um, based on what you're looking to do within Oracle Apex. So if we click home, we're going to now install our data. So we go into SQL Workshop and then Object Browser. Object 
object browser, we will come back, but first we're going to download our data, our sample data set. So we're going to go to utilities, scroll down to sample data sets, and then you can see we have a variety of different data sets that we can choose from. Now for this lab, we're going to choose this one right here, the customer orders. Um, so this is going to be used because we have a collection of customers, stores, products, and orders. So this includes JSON data for the product description and longitude and latitude for the stores. So to download this, I already have it downloaded, but you can click update, next. And then since it already is in here, it says refresh, but this is where you would click install. Now we can go back to SQL Workshop object browser. And then under the downward carrot, we can see all the data that we downloaded. So under the tables section, this is where we can view different tables and then we can see the data constraints and so forth to review the data details. So we have our clothing lookup, our color lookup, et cetera. So if we are looking to add a column to keep it a little bit more organized, we simply click this. You can name it, name the table, and then enter the required fields and then click apply and you will have another section in here. So for this, since we had a little bit of overlap, just to keep it more organized, we had color as one and then we inputted another for color ID. Another reason we wanna do this is because if we go under products, we can see that there are lots of different rows. So I added these, originally they were not there, um, so the products table, this included columns such as the image, the price, and details. However, there are a lot of other characteristics that we would like to know besides just those three things. So in order to add all these other columns that you now see, um, we simply just click to add column. So this is where we could enter the column, data type, and length. And then we can add as many as we'd like. So I added things for department, clothing column, products, et cetera. Um, and then we would just populate, populate the new columns and then create and copy and paste a script, which I will show you where to do that once I copy and paste it. Now to be able to get it as organized as this, not only do we have to add columns, but we have to go back into SQL Workshop and then SQL Scripts. So we were looking to populate new columns. So if we go in and edit, we can see that we had this code you just click edit, copy, paste, and then save. So all the changes were saved. This is where we see all of our different SQL scripts. And this is the one that we have in there now. And then if we go back to the object browser, then you can see that's how it was identified. Now, since we just populated all of these columns and changed them from things such as just color to now color ID, clothing ID, we made it a little bit more organized. Um, through running the SQL script to populate these tables, we are now going to create a database package for business logic. So we're going to create a database objects that use the Apex application to create a procedure to add products to our shopping cart, as well as remove them, uh, create the order and clear the cart and more. In this left-hand side, just to keep it organized, we're going to go down, click on Packages, and then you would want to right-click. And when you right-click, you're going to select Create Package and enter the name of it. And then you would click Include Sample Data. Now, I already did this, but there is another SQL script that you would want to enter. And then you would click Create Package. Um, and then save and compile. So while you don't have to understand the code that you would enter into this manage order section, which was the name. So we clicked just to refresh, we click create package, added the name, and then we copy and pasted this code, which then did this. So while you don't have to understand the code and know the functions and procedures in this lab, they're just a built-in feature on Oracle Apex to handle the user's shopping cart. Um, so this really is just to manage the collection of the product IDs, the quantity values specific to the current user, and it automatically creates the new rows for you. So again, just really emphasizing that the SQL script, it's low code, and you don't need to necessarily understand this um, in order to go through. But you can see right here, 
within the order. You can create order. We have customer, customer email, store, and this is all how this will, the order will be managed within the shopping cart. Now, since we have our data and we started to manage our orders, we're gonna go into App Builder and we would click Create if we were starting a new one and then do new application. But again, sake of time, I've created one. We wanna see what that looks like. This is what you have to input. You can enter the name that you would like for this live lab. I did Acme Shop. You can add a page. Um, for the home page, I chose faceted search. Um, this is the home page. It's just a little bit cleaner and more visually appealing for people. Um, but I can show you how you can go back in and add new pages besides just in this create application site. So now we're gonna go back. We can see that we have the Acme Shop. Here is where you would create more pages. Um, so faceted search and dashboard are two that I'd like to note. Um, the dashboard just makes it a little bit more visually appealing format for the customer. Um, so you can see things in a more straightforward way. However, we're going to click run the application. And then this is the data that we inputted as well as the shopping cart. So this is or the data that we have so far. So we can order by product name, which is what we selected. And then all of the data is in a dashboard format. Again, visually appealing for the customer. Um, we have our search function here. And then, like I stated earlier, this is how the user would be able to sort the data. Now, if we wanted to make any other edits, we could simply click the bottom of the page. That won't be available for other users other than the administrators. And then we get taken to the app builder page. So you can see page one is our products. Um, this was from the data set that we had and you can see on the home page, there was also the faceted search. Um, this is how our products were organized. And we can go down on the left-hand side. I remember uh, that we show, I showed you how to see the search bar. Now to add this, you would just click right click under here and do create subregion or create page item, and you'd be able to enter a name. And then from down below, you could select what type of identification you would like. So we have search, you just click the type, and then we click search. And then don't forget to save every time you do this. Another way to do this, we can go down below here, and we have a bunch of different regions. So like I was saying, faceted search is something that was used in this live lab. You can simply drag and drop it to where you would like. And then that's another easy way to navigate the app builder page. So now that we've seen the admin page, another page that I would like to note where we can see the shopping cart and order information, et cetera, we can go to our next page. So another page that I added was page 16. Um, down below, we have our body. So the thank you for our order section, this will is what the customer will see. And I'll show you once we get into the shopping cart. Um, so this would be for a new order. And then below, again, right click, and you can create a subregion, create a button, which would be add, edit, or delete. Um, and then you can see your order details in the subregion. This is another important tool because this is the after submission, the validating, the processing. So for example, if I added an item to the cart, um, this would be the after submit button would be something as thank you for the order or something like that. So we can again, click save. So the next page that we'll go to is the shopping cart. Again, you do this simply by adding a page, which I showed you earlier, titling it. And then again, down below, we can create a subregion and a page item and we have shopping cart. And then down below, we can edit the layout that we would like by dragging and dropping. So for the order information within the shopping cart, we wanted to include the customer email, the order ID, customer ID, et cetera. Um, another change, we do this by right-clicking and selecting. Um, we wanted the customers to be able to clear it and then also proceed with the order, which is why after you add all this information that you would like to be shown, to have this as well. Uh, now, the next page, we have our add to cart. 
So these are for the products. The products are is what will be added to the cart. And this is the information within the body. We created a subregion, customer reviews. So again, we also have our SQL query right here. It just makes it a little bit easier to take all the product information and add it um, depending on what the customer adds to cart. If we scroll down below, we have our product IDs, quantity, the shopping cart, et cetera. This is what the buttons bar will include. So we will want to be, we will be able to click the product ID. Um, we'll be able to click add to cart. Customers will be able to delete, edit, and add things within their shopping cart. Now, those are some of the pages to note. We save and then we can save and run. However, we can just go back here and now we can see that this is what we have edited. So the shopping cart, we'll go take a look in this. We have this, which we inputted would be shown within the shopping cart. If we were to add something, it would appear here. We have our email address, full name, select the store. This has come from the data set. And then we can click here, go back to the home page, search for different items, click on the unit price, et cetera. So now you can see that the Oracle Apex is a very simple way for customers to create an application um, through the application page. It's easy to just drag and drop items simply by clicking a few buttons, right clicking it. You can see that the everything is fairly straightforward. Um, again, not a lot of technological not technology technological knowledge is needed. Um, if you come from more of a business background, I myself do. So it just has been, again, very straightforward. Um, and the SQL query scripts are not necessarily needed. We don't need to know everything about that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your time.